I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Turn with me now to Ephesians chapter 5. We begin our reading at verse 8. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of doctors, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by light, by the light. For, who, for whatever doth make manifest is light. Verse 14, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepeth, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. May God bless our reading, our hearing, our understanding, and lack of understanding of this word, that we may gain a better understanding not only of what he is saying to us, but what he wants us to do as we try our best to follow this. Word. 